Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. Just gonna sketch in this walking or standing orange kitty. Just kind of getting the flow of the angles and shapes. Just I'm always correcting as I go. Just feeling it out more than anything. I do have it going two and a half times the speed here and I'm voicing over. Yeah, I'll move that paw down a bit, I think. All these extra lines that I end up with, they just fade into the background as background tone. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or what you want to learn about cat drawing. I'll do my best to get it on here. I get my ideas from viewers' comments. Not all of them. I come up with some of my own. And I've learned so much by teaching other people to draw, by creating these tutorials. I have so much fun. Lines in there for the eyes and the mouth. You see that line that, that goes along the top of the eyes? It kind of creates the cat's forehead, doesn't it? Add some form. I like it so far. Tabby stripes. Tabby stripes always add some expression. You can play with them a little. Help them shape the contour of the cat's head. Just slight changes in them really. It changes, changes the expression. Or any lines. Just a slight change in a line can make a real difference. Bring these eyes to life. Okay, so we're speeding up to four times the speed now. Just want to capture that look of the cat putting paws down very gingerly, moving cautiously. Could have had that far rear leg a little skinnier I'm seeing now. All the knowledge you gain from these simple sketches carry forward to your next one and you just can't help but improve. Just a hint of whiskers. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.